the voice of God sounds from the word of God. When we study God's word, when we look at God's word, the voice of God sounds from God's word. And the voice of God is a cure to the noise of life. <laughs> the voice of God is a cure to the noise of sickness. The reason why that stagnation in your career is there is because it has not had the voice of God. Once have God spoken, twice have I had that power belong to God. So that power is surviving because the voice is not yet sounding. If you have access to the voice, you will terminate that noise. This morning, every negative voice in your life, I sound the voice of God that they are subdued in the name of Jesus. God has brought us to another month which he has started doing wonders in our midst and I believe tonight shall be your own night of testimony. Yeah. Say your Lord is amen. Yeah. This is our first midweek service because last week was um, International Youth Alive Convention and our teaching series for the month shall be unveiling the fundamentals of success. The prophetic focus has been declared I'm redeemed for exploits. And um, we shall be focusing on unveiling the fundamentals of success as our teaching series for music services. And all through this week of emphasis. Please, like I keep saying time and again, when you're in service, don't see the pastor. Otherwise, you lose the blessing. Every time you look at man, you see failure. You look at God, you see success. They looked unto him and they were lightened. Him in that context is God. Every time you're in the service, don't ever see a man. Don't allow familiarity to rob you of your blessings. Rather, focus on him who sent him. Every time you look unto him, you are enlightened. And the enlightenment is for your lifting. So tonight, see God and you see his glory. Unveiling the fundamentals of success. And tonight, I'd like you to know that we live in a kingdom that operates on keys. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 and 19. He said, I say unto thee, thou Peter, upon thee will I... I mean, upon the will I be the church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And verse 19 now says, and I will give unto thee the keys of the king of heaven and whatsoever that shall bind on that it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on that shall be losing in heaven. Unto thee I give the keys of the kingdom. Keys of the kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on earth it shall be bound in heaven. I was privileged to pray for someone yesterday by privilege. You know, like I said humorously some time ago, the things we hear in this environment, in this our environment is very wonderful. As I was praying for this person, the spirit in her, they said they are up to they are hundred. So the one that left, they said it was just four. Ah. <laughs> I said, what is this? Now, but by this revelation and understanding, I said, go now. He said, I'm going. As he was going, he said, the grave is full. Ah. Because it was a dead person speaking in her. And the spirit said she died in 1987. Now, I said, leave now. As the, the spirit was saying, she said, ah, the grave is full. I said, enter anyhow. <laughs> At least you came from the place. Go back there. But we need to understand the key in our hand. On today, I give the keys of the king. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Which means when you use it, heaven applies it. When you engage it, heaven will establish it. Tonight and this month, God will be giving us the keys to success. It has started since last month. Because now, people that will be given tithes of 500,000 have just started. Tithes of 1 million have just started. Remember, God said, He said, I don't need any man's permission to bless you. Remember that statement. I don't need any man's permission. And you see, God 
as the prerogative of who blesses. He says, I will, bless, I will have mercy on those who have mercy upon and compassion on those who have chosen. And the Bible says, see, I are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. So you are chosen to be blessed. Therefore, you are blessed. Yeah. Against all odds, you are blessed. Yeah. So we live in the kingdom that operates on keys. And our inheritance in the kingdom is delivered through the key of knowledge. Say the key of knowledge. Say the key of knowledge. Isaac and others came from Junior Bible School. And I told them that their hands in that class is an extension of the hand of God, the power of God. Anything can happen through their hands. And you see, what you don't know, you can't apply. What you don't know, you cannot use. Prayed for the father of someone who had cancer. Even though if the cancer has not gone finally, but at least at the moment the person was free. It's a sign of God's power. But it's the key of knowledge that if I pray for you now, something will happen. There are some probably title carriers. If they tell them, say, no, no, wait. You see, the truth is this. Wisdom demands. I know God will do it. And you see, have you taken medication? You see, they will not be giving stories because they don't know it. There are some people who are adults. If you tell them, they say, ah, cancer. Eh? Now, wow. Ah, what do we do now? You see, that's how cancer kills that's a person. You see, that, that's how they be talking. Because they lack knowledge. But he said, do you believe if you pray now? If I now said, okay, call your father now. What a level. Call your father now. That is someone who has eaten into what they teach in church. That's someone who has embraced the testimonies who has, he has been any time and again. Call your father now. On today, I give the keys. Remember, by the grace of God, you have heard me say that I don't believe in praying for somebody and nothing will happen. And we have seen a testimony here time and again. Cancer, HIV, all kinds to God's glory. But it is the knowledge of God's word that prompted the reality of that expectation. So it, we need the keys of knowledge to be able to be at the edge above all. Glory to God. Luke eleven forty nine. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. I will send them prophets and apostles. Some of them they shall slay and persecute. The wisdom of God in that context talks about Jesus. Acts 20 verse 32. He said, Beloved, I commend you unto God and the word of his knowledge that is able to give, build you and give inheritance among them that are sanctified. The knowledge of God you possess is the power of God at work in you. The knowledge of God you possess is the power of God at work in you. The knowledge of God you possess is the power of God at work in you. For example, the first time I privileged, I used WhatsApp to raise the debt in Zimbabwe. It was the conviction that I know my God is everywhere. And they sent the picture. I said, right now, I stood here. And by speaking to picture, a dead person in Zimbabwe came back to life. Without leaving this place, it takes the knowledge of God, of the omnipotency of God, and the omnipresence of God to generate such declaration. So it's the knowledge of God you possess determines the power of God that's working you. Glory to God. I pray God will empower our understanding. Second Peter 1 3. The Bible says, according to his divine power, has given us all things that pertains to life and goodness through the knowledge. You don't know, you don't have. You don't know, no access. Your knowledge is your access to the source of God's power. Your knowledge is your access. Because the Bible says, they that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. Exploit is your portion this month in the name of Jesus Christ. But understand this. Inside every believer lies the seed of success. Inside every believer lies the seed of success. You don't pray to become an elephant as an elephant, you know, baby or child or whatever the case, they, they, they may call it. The child elephant give us to doesn't say, I must be an elephant. I must be an elephant. I must be an elephant. Then he's sick. A puppy of a dog would not pray, Lord, I must pray to back. Help me to back. Uh -uh. 
the kid of a goat will not pray and say, man, man, help me to say, man, man. No! The seed is in him. As it grows, he shows. As it grows, he shows. That's why it's important we understand the place of the seed of success. When we apply ourselves to the revelation of the truth, we triumph always and in every place. When we understand that the, this seed is in me, when you understand that this seed is in me, you don't need to struggle to make it happen. Glory to God. Matthew, I mean, chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever hearing these things of mine and doeth them, I will like him unto a wise man that built his house upon a rock. If you know it, you will do it. And remember, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14. Now thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph. In Christ, make it manifest the sum of his knowledge by us in every place. So, we need to have the knowledge of the fact that the seed of success is in me. Say, I will succeed. Say, I must succeed. Now, you cannot have the seed of success and end up as a failure. It's not possible. Just like the illustration I just gave now. Every child they ever give us to, whatever the name they call it, does not need to pray to become big. It is in the lineage of elephants that they are big. It is in the lineage of rats that they are small. Even though there are some rats that you see. <laughs> ah. When you see them, you say, ah, is it rats or cats? Because their size is so obvious that no, it is not any rat. But normally, if it's not a spiritual rat, normal rat, <laughs> you know, there's some spiritual rat. Now, normal rat is always small. You can never see a rat that will be as big as a dog. No, because in your lineage, they are small. In your lineage, you are a success. It is not a prayer. It is who you are in Christ. It's not a prayer. It's not a prayer. If I say, what's your name? He said, David. What's your name? In Jesus' name is David. In Jesus' name is David. Ah, no, 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 no. Then you need to go to a psychiatric hospital. Because now, which means you're not sure who you are. In our lineage, we are successful. Both spiritually and even biblically. And even in reality. And even by our church, where we belong to, our church family. Glory to God. Glory to God. Baba Deboe is rich, successful. Dr. Copeland is rich, successful. Our father, Bishop Wedebo, is rich, successful. So you are what, poor? So, carry that mentality. If your father, your spiritual father, is the richest pastor in the world, should, be, should you be the poorest member in the world? Nah. So, carry that mentality. I carry the seed of success. Even if I'm about to make mistake, that seed will speak. No, you can't go there. Glory to God. So, doing whatever the word says will always result in supernatural breakthrough anytime, any day, anywhere. For example, the Bible says in Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 to 8, from verse 1 to 8 Jesus used the Peter, I mean, the boat of Peter, and he says, cast your nets into the deep. And he cast the net. And as he cast the net, the Bible says there was a great catch. To the point whereby the two boats were sinking. Did it, he saw it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. The Bible says that if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe to do all the commandments which I, the Lord thy God, shall command you this day, he said, therefore the Lord God, thy God shall set you high, if thou shalt do. It is in the doing that you see his works. It is in his doing that you see the proof of the seed in you. To have a seed in your hand without sowing it makes it a waste. Many are carrying the forest inside them. Many are carrying billions inside them. Many are carrying trillions inside them. In fact, many are carrying conglomerates inside them. When I mean conglomerate, conglomerate means a group of companies inside them. 
But because it's not sown, it, it, they look useless. They look hopeless. May God review the service. But this service in a few minutes, we shall be focusing on the force of vision. The force of vision. Remember we're talking about unveiling the fundamentals of success. The force of vision. If you must succeed, you must first see the if you must succeed, you must first seed it. The success you don't seed is a success you won't see. Seed it. Seed it. That is, sow it. The success you have not seeded is the success you will not see. Luke 9.14 The Bible says that they had 5,000 people to be fed apart from women. And Jesus Christ said, what do you have? He said, five loaves. He said, make them sit down in fifties. Ah, sit with five loaves. Make them sit down. Jesus saw them eating, sitting. Jesus saw them eating, sitting. Any success you have not seeded, he cannot experience. He saw the seed in the spirit. He saw it. Make them sit down. Sit down to do what? To eat from what? What he has? Is it enough? He has seen it. The force of vision is the strength behind the realization of any destiny. The force of vision. Because what you don't sow, you can't reap. Imagine your corn that you have not sown. You can't reap a, I mean, any cup from it. Galatians 6, 7. Whatever man sow, same shall he reap. Same. So the seed of success is what you have conceived. 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 Like I've shared a number of times, before by privilege I ever got to wherever I got to some years ago, I saw it 20, 2001. 99, 2000. 2000. I saw it. And when I saw that, what is the wrote it down? Any future you don't see, you can't feature in it. Any future you don't see. I remember I told myself that at a particular age, I will give out one million years back. Before I even knew, before I even knew anything, I said, my at this before I particular age, I will start giving out millions. Sir, stop seeing yourself. I said it last month by privilege. I said this church is entering millions, remember? And now it's happening to people. Saints, anything you, that you cannot see, you cannot experience. God says, let God saw light, God said light, and God saw light. Let there be light, and light came. He said, let us make man, which means he has not, he had, that time he has not made man. He had not made man. Genesis 1 26. He said, Come, let us make man. Was, who was he talking to? The, father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us make man. But remember, God is a spirit. In the realm of the spirit, he conceived it. Verse 28 God made man. So, whatever you cannot conceive, you cannot receive. You must conceive it in the spirit and receive it in the physical. Glory to God. The question is, as you are seated now, what are you conceiving for the year? Don't just hear God's word without having a walk. Don't just hear God's word without applying it to your life. So, what am I conceiving for August 2018? What must I succeed in 2018? The remaining few months, what can I experience? Apply it to you. Don't just hear the word. Be asking yourself, in what way can this word Change my life. New 921. The Bible says, The woman with the issue of blood said in her heart, If I may but just touch the hem of his garment, she conceived a successful healing. And she got it. Tonight you are getting yours. So, without a vision for success, success in life remains a balloon dream. I will make it. I will make it. And every morning from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., 
you are with your towel saying Jesus you are faithful God hallelujah I will make it pastor said we should declare Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 22 shambara bara 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 you end up in mana bastard. <laughs> it's not all about just say, ah, sh-. you don't just see it. You know, that is, the sto- that is the story of many. You know, God is a faithful God. God is faithful. You say God is faithful, you are idle. God is faithful, you are not doing anything. Not just balloon dreams. The force of the, what you have conceived that is running inside you. You see, general visionaries are always on the motion. Genuine visionaries are always moving. You can't see them I do. Something is just, something is working in them. You see, real vision will always generate a motion. A genuine vision will push, will put you on the motion. So if you claim to have a vision and it's not giving you motion, it's fake. He that read it may run with it. For the vision is for an appointed time. Habakkuk 2, 1 to 3. The Bible says that without vision, the people have perished. Proverbs 29, verse 18. So without vision, a people is made naked. What does it mean? Without vision, shame is looming. The question is, what can you see? For example, like I've shared here before, before I got married, I got married, I saw it. I fixed the dates for my marriage seven years before I got married because Asu Strike became a normal lifestyle in Nigeria. Every now, Asu Strike. Asu Strike simply means schools, universities going on strike. I said, Well, Asu will not determine my destiny. I would rather choose a destiny. And I fixed seven years before, seven years before, I fixed November 27. And God made it October 9 and 10. Of the same year that I fixed. Saints, when your faith says yes, God will not say no. If it's not moving you, <laughs> it's not genuine. Without vision, shame becomes the available option. Without vision, Shame becomes the available option. When you lack vision, you suffer deviation. Deviation simply means anywhere they say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Then it ends up in a useless person. That's why if you must succeed, you must first see it in the realm of the spirit. Without vision, shame in life is no more a choice. But a man's lot. Without vision, shame is no more a choice, but your lot. Is these people where they are today? Some people they, they can't blame their parents. It's because they lacked vision. Ask yourself, what am I doing in South Africa? Even as a South African, how long will I live on grants? How long will I depend on 500 rand? In a month. How long will I depend? Remove government from, from some people's life. They are finished. Free light. Free water. Free everything. Your life is empty. Please react. I said, no, enough. Government did not make me. God made me. Picture something in the made you, not in the government that is helping you. Hence. If there's no more free education, strike on the streets. Why? Hope and everything lies on the government. They've forgotten God. Let your case not be like that. Generate a vision maker. Not in the helper. Our future is in God's plan. Not in government's plan. Our future is not in environmental plan our future is in God's plan in fact hear this our future is not in your plan you didn't make yourself you didn't make yourself 
That's why many may not succeed because they are running on a wrong race. Many may not succeed. That's why some people who sing by all means and the more they sing, the more they crash. <laughs> because God didn't call you to music. You work an album. It's only you and your family that is buying it. Why? God didn't call you to music. You put all the music. Only you is buying it. Why? God didn't call you to it. Your future is not in your personal plan. You didn't create yourself. Please don't waste your life running another man's life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says the thought afterwards you is a thought of good not of evil to give you you know an expected end it is not you that should choose you are the one to locate what he has ordained you to become he said, for I formed you, I've, I knew you and I've ordained you that is I have finished your future locate it so God unveiled his plan and purpose for, for, for us on his own. But a responsibility to make demand to assess them. Make a demand to assess them. I'll share this, I mean, severally, how at my, when I mean, before I ever became a pastor, on three days dry fast, Lord, show me what are you saying. I must not miss it. Is it time? Show me. Fast, no food, no water. For the purpose of future, some people cannot fast for two hours. They say, yeah, yeah, my stomach. Yeah, 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 my stomach, my stomach. The stomach that will still be there forever. Why not locate your destiny? Take time out and say, Lord, I cannot be running. I keep telling, I keep telling people, I be living the same life every day and expect a different future. Oh, wow. You cannot be living a different same life every day. And expect a unique future. If you must see a unique future, have a unique day each daily. A unique day daily. That is, every day there's a new thing. Every day there's an initiation of something. Discover what you carry. Otherwise, you will tarry long in failure. Discover what is inside you. Ask God, what have you placed in me that the world is looking for? Saints, everyone that God created is an extension of God. If God ever succeeded, he's a success. Because God who created you is highly successful and is still successful. There's a write-up that we place on our website. You can check it out. If your father, the creator of the world, is a success, and he created the world thousands of years ago, the, the world is not reducing. Rather, the world is getting more beautiful. After thousands of years, that is who you are. That is where you came from. Remember Habakkuk 2, 1 to 3. Stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord said unto me and said, answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain, plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is for an appointed time. By the end, he shall speak and not lie. Now, let me say this. They call it vision because it's not for now. Even though it is a vision, it requires a process. I want share here by privilege that God showed me 1999 2000 that I will walk in Canaan and I will, and I will be one, two, three, four. But it didn't come to pass on the 2010. 10, 11 years after. But mind you, when you receive it, trade with it. Walk with it. Embrace it. Because the truth is this, many of us have been given visions different times. Many of us, it has come in different ways. But you see, sensitivity is the, something we need to hold on to. I pray that tonight, God will speak to us. Every heavenly vision is ordained to deliver its content. Every heavenly vision is ordained to deliver its content. But the question is, how do I know 
what God is saying. Romans 8, 14. The Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Men being led by their parents. Many are being led by their association. Many are being led by their desires. Many are being led by what people say. You see, you, you become a prophet too. I'm telling you, you look like a prophet exactly. In fact, if you look at your mustache, that's how so 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 person is. Then he goes home. It's true. You look at the mirror. Ah, I look at your prophet. Oh yes. Now he has allowed association to impact negatively on God's intention. Now some people, because their fathers are doctors or lawyers or whatever. No, ah, my father is a doctor. I must become a doctor. Doctor. And the more he study medicine, the more he fails. Now, it's not all about if it's from God, it will be good. Every heavenly vision is ordained to deliver. It's ordained to deliver. It's ordained to deliver. I'd like you to know that you can't fake what God has made. If he knew, if it's genuine, it will stand the test of time. Glory to God. It's important we understand this. Acts 26 verse 19. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. The foundation is for production. Plants produce food. Animals produce meat and protein. Sun and moon produce light in their own times. Trees produce shelter, food, and even clothing. Man is produced to produce destiny. We are meant to generate destiny. That is to make impact. There's something in you the world is waiting for. There's something in you. Please, anytime you think you are depressed, it's because you have, you have, chosen, to, you have chosen not to see what you carry. No day should take over you. Why? You carry what can swallow depression. No hopelessness should catch up with you because you are a, an extension of the hope giver. No reason for you to be dejected. Even if they reject you, it's because are, you are too heavy for them. If they despise you, it's because they are envying you. Saints, I'd like you to know that you are too loaded to be defeated. You carry what God carried that he used to make heaven and earth. So to, he said he breathed the breath of life into man and man became a living soul. So you carry the very life of God. And if you carry the very life of God, eliminate the life situations. But understand this, you must know that it is your responsibility to discover it. If you cannot discover it, you can't recover your glory. So tell yourself, this month I must recover all that I've lost. I must recover destiny on the platform of pursuit. Because the truth is this, if you see it, you can't possess it. In conclusion, I'd like you to know, success is not a national of any nation. You see, because I'm black, that's why things are like this. I wish they bombed me in Argentina. You see, because I'm black, that's why it's like this. In fact, I, 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 God, next time, make me a Briton. No, I prefer to be in Brazil. Go to Brazil, no offer. Brazil and Africa is the same thing. Brazil is only an higher, you know, higher level of Africa. It's the same category. But you see, the true disease, black is not synonymous to lack. For the fact that we are black does not mean that we, are, we should be in lack. We are not black, actually. We are of the spirits. So don't allow the, the, the color to change your style. You are first spiritual before you became physical. Because he said, before I formed thee, you were already in my spirit. So you are not a product of your parents. You are a product of your God. And your God cannot be affected by economic crisis. So understand your source. You will not lack sources. The reason why many are lacking is because they lack knowledge. You are not a man. You are a spirit. 
having a soul, having a human body. So with this understanding, you can dominate any situation. 